name is Tracy and I'm a student at Ball State University. In my four years of study, I've had the opportunity to work with much of the computer and telecommunications technology that has earned Ball State University national recognition in Time Magazine as a campus of the future. There are many examples all over campus of how Ball State University has put technology into the hands of teachers and students to provide one of the best learning environments in the nation. I'd like to take you on a tour of the campus to share some of what Ball State has to offer. Ball State was the first university in the nation to implement a campus-wide fiber optic system that links all of the academic classrooms with data, voice, and video capacities. Designed to enhance the teaching and learning environment, this system allows professors and students to bring videotape, slides, computer-generated graphics, CDI, CD-ROM, and video disc-based academic materials into classrooms all over campus. At Ball State, every student is expected to be computer competent before graduation. The university provides computer access to students in labs like this one in the Bell Building. In the residence halls, students can plug in their computer in their rooms and network with other PCs and the mainframe. Disabled students are provided excellent access to computer equipment as well. A state-of-the-art computer system allows students to verbally interact with a PC to perform a variety of computer applications. Computer. Shift key. Science. The Dragon Dictate voice recognition system, which you've seen me demonstrate, is primarily used by our students with mobility impairment. Those with manual dexterity problems can access this computer without a keyboard, the same as any other student accesses computer facilities at Ball State. They can use word processing, they can write their own research papers, access the online public catalog at Bracken Library, even access the mainframe computers. In the classroom, computers can provide valuable assistance in the learning process. Dr. Leo Hadlovsky uses a computer program to help his students develop a better understanding of the material they are studying in his classics courses. The value of such programs to the students is that it brings to life what otherwise is a, simply a text. It adds images, it adds vitality, it adds the information from the period to the text they're reading. And that makes the text alive for the students and enhances their learning by appealing to a number of levels at once. Perseus is just one example of how interactive computer programs are being used to enhance the learning experience of students here at Ball State University. Students studying in the Department of Physiology and Health Science use laser disc technology to study materials for histology and anatomy courses. I find the laser disc technology to be very beneficial in the instruction of histology. Histology uh, is a very visual science, and oftentimes the students are expected to identify things by studying uh, histological sections through the microscope, and frequently we do not have the ideal section for identifying specific structures they're actually looking for. With the laser disc, they are given an opportunity to see the ideal. They see the best possible examples of what they are to identify, and it makes it much easier for them to actually then transfer that learning back to the study of their slides. In the School of Nursing, students use an interactive laser disc program to study life-saving procedures. Your hands are too low on the sternum. Make sure the heel of your hand is beside your index finger on the breastbone. This program is a, it's a step-by-step -step technique that shows you landmarks, certain areas to look for on the body when you're doing CPR and it, it guides you through and it stops and lets you practice and it tells you if you're doing it correctly and it gives helpful hints that you may not receive when you're in a group learning CPR. In the College of Architecture and Planning, students utilize computers to generate detailed landscape models. The students then use these models as an integral part of comprehensive community development projects. I've found through, uh, through the last several years, as our students have uh, learned this technology and have gone through our curriculum using computers, uh, learning the state-of-the-art techniques uh, with the computers and uh, processing great amounts of information, 
that they typically get job offers before they even finish. At the graduate level, Ball State Center for Information and Communication Sciences functions as a test center for the evaluation of new equipment and technologies. Research is conducted by faculty and students on equipment involving voice, data, and video technologies. Learning to use the latest technology has become a very cost-effective faculty development program. Faculty who have used the technology explain that they can now cover more content in an hour and they've become better teachers overall. In teaching the general studies math course, I've found that it's crucial to make sure each student understands the mathematical concepts being discussed. My faculty development grant gave me the resources and the personnel I needed to create a series of real-world video examples of mathematical concepts at work. I found these videos help every student, both in my televised classes and in my traditional classes. A staff of professionals, including instructional designers, producer directors, animators, and graphic artists, help prepare teachers at Ball State to integrate state-of-the-art educational technologies into their diverse disciplines. Ball State is the only university in the country offering live, interactive distance education courses at the high school, college, and graduate school levels throughout the day and evening hours. As other schools follow our lead in providing interactive courses, Ball State is starting to offer pre-designed college and graduate level courses as part of its comprehensive distance education program. Welcome to a series we're calling Restructuring to Promote Learning in America Schools. Ball State will supplement the series with 17 faculty providing timely, live, interactive updates. As a student at Ball State University, I've been fortunate to be surrounded by the latest technology in the hands of people who know how to use it. This conveys the message to students that the university is serious about its goal to be a premier teaching university. The successful integration of instruction and technology in the classroom will provide all of the students who follow me with a unique educational experience at Ball State University, a campus of the future.